Well, good morning, and it is Carol from Dayton, Tennessee, and I hope you all are doing great for this wonderful Monday. Maybe, up where I'm at, it's cloudy and wet, and I guess we're getting part of that storm that's moving over the east. But anyway, um, I was going to do this hyped up video this morning, but you know, I am so stuck, <laughs> and I feel so passionate about these chemicals that are affecting our children and ourselves, but especially even our children. And that just really, really, I don't know, it gets me so mad and aggravated and I hurt for all the young babies yet to even be conceived. And when I think about the chemicals they're gonna be subjected to, it just, you know, it just makes me wanna shout out from the rooftops and warn people and get them to listen. I mean, a baby in the womb actually even gets um, yeah, it gets hit up with 212 chemicals, some of them, not all of them, but chemicals that were banned 30 years ago, 30 years ago. Um, they're also getting Teflon, Scotchgard, pesticides, herbicides. I mean, it, the list goes on and on. It's no wonder our children are being born and getting disorders and birth defects and coming down with cancer. And they're even... The studies have showed that there are chemicals that cause cancer in laboratory rats that our babies are getting. And they're getting over 300 quarts of tainted blood into them every day. 300 quarts. That's a lot of tainted blood. It's no wonder they come out even being able to breathe. Um, I really want to get this around huge. So if you don't care, go ahead and share it wherever you may. We've got to help stop this. There is there is a law, and I don't have the exact uh, information on it. I'm going to look that up and get it to you. That was made many decades ago, but it wasn't made to protect the people. It was made to protect other uh, businesses, consumers, pricing-wise, and all about the dollar. It had nothing to do with us. And... That's what we need to change. We need to get that law changed. So that it also includes in there that these chemicals would be safe for human consumption. Because right now, it's not being done. It can't get done. You know, it's been tried. And so anyway, I think it was, I can't remember what it was. There was a chemical that the first realm of the bushes tried to get banned because of its harmful effects. And that was even denied because the law doesn't protect people it had nothing to do with it it's just crazy i mean four kids start dying on us which they are and this continues on any further guess what zero population we won't be around very much longer because if we're not replenishing our species with our babies you know it's very obvious we're gone so, anyway, that said, <laughs> hope that brought you in a good spirit to carry on from Monday through the rest of the week. <laughs> um, but no, it is very precious to my heart, and I feel very uh, sad for these children. And I don't know, I'm just hoping that somewhere along the line I can do some hope, some help. And, uh, and I hope that there is something that will and can be done uh, soon before it is too late. And it's already a silent pandemic, you know, in our society today. Um, it's bad. So please help. Please give your support. Share the video. Uh, you want to know how you can help, just contact me, you know. Put a message in the, com in the comment box or go to my Facebook page. I'll put that on the video and, and inbox me there. That would be fine, too. Um, so anyway, I do hope you all have a great week. And think about the kids. And I will see you all tomorrow. God bless. Bye.